Why, hello there, everybody. How you doing today? It's me, again. Uh, I want to talk to you all a little bit about fear. And here's the reason why. Uh, right now, there's a lot of fear being talked about and thrown about and uh, cast on different people. Okay? And there's basically two types, two types of fear. You have the godly fear, which is more of a, uh, um, it's a caution. It's a warning type of fear. Uh, a, um, a, a warning message of what will happen if you do something. Uh, for example, the fear that you get when you, uh, you come across a wooden bridge and you can see that the ropes on it are rotten, the planks are rotten, some of the thing, some of the boards are missing, and you get this fear like, man, if I go to, man, if I step on that thing, whew, I'm going to go crashing to my death. That's the godly fear. But then you have the ungodly fear, an oppressive fear, a fear that causes you to run, a fear that causes you to um, have uncertainty, a fear that you have no control. That's the kind of fear that I want to talk to you all about. Uh, because that is the type of fear that we are seeing more and more of uh, this day. Right now, there's a lot of people uh, in this country of ours that fear the government. They are afraid uh, to do anything, lest the government come in and cart them away. We're looking for black helicopters and black SUVs. That's not a godly fear. And that's not a good thing. Uh, it's not a good thing to fear your government. Because again, the government is a representation of God. And the government gets its authority from Almighty God. And they're not supposed to, uh, because they're representing God, and because we fear them, then what, it's, what, they, what everyone feels is that we should fear God. While you should fear the consequences of not doing what God uh, says to do, you should not fear God himself. But we fear just the government. You know, the police car pulls up next to you. <gasps> oh my God, what are they going to do to me? You know, and they're casting all this fear. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. And to give you some examples... Of fear. Um, Second Timothy 1 7, for God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The example of an ungodly fear is Proverbs. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, an example of godly fear is Proverbs 1 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. You see, <clears throat> God cannot just let anybody do anything that, he, that they want. There has to be a consequence. There has to be a standard. There has to be right and wrong. And um, you should fear the consequence of doing evil, of doing wrong. If you feel, and but what the devil does is the devil comes in and he twists that, and he says that God is forcing you to do that. God's going to send you to hell. No, your action is going to send you to hell. The fact that you do not repent is what's going to send you to hell. Because by that thinking then, then that person that thinks that way says, I should not be held accountable. I can should be able to do whatever I want. That means that I can come into your living room and punch you in the face and have no consequences for it. See what I'm talking about? 
So folks, if you fear, if you have fear, that's not coming. That is not coming from Almighty God. If you have this fear of, of oppression, fear that you have no control, that's not from God. That is not from God. That's from the devil. And the only reason why the devil's trying to make you afraid is because he's afraid of you. You have to remember that the devil is the exact opposite of Almighty God. So if he's trying to make you scared, that's only because he's scared of you. No. Do not fear Almighty God. Fear the consequences of not obeying Almighty God. Jesus said in Matthew, he said, Fear not the man who can destroy the flesh, but fear the one who can, who can destroy both the flesh and the soul in hell. Something to think about, folks. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid, for I, the Lord thy God, am with thee. Something to think about. 